I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to the number challenge of the week. Here is an excellent question, which I have taken from a grade six student's test paper. The question here is: the sum of two natural numbers is four times their difference. What could the numbers be? Explain your strategy with examples. So. Uh, you can always pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, one of the method is trial and run. So we should do some trials. Now, when we say sum of two numbers is four times difference, that is to say that if I take a number, let's say five and three. If I add them, what I get is eight, and if I do five minus three, what I get is two. Do you see that? So these are perfect numbers whose sum eight is four times their difference. You know, so so we know that eight is equals to four times two. So those are the kind of numbers which we are looking for. So I hope now the concept is clear to you. So one method definitely is trial and error. So you could take a few numbers and then uh, you know try it out. You will definitely get few solutions working in this fashion. Okay. So when you try, you will get uh, uh, numbers like. Uh, let me give you more examples, which I did a lot of trial and run on this. So for example, if I do twenty plus twelve. I get 32, and if I do 20 minus 12, I get 8. Now 8 times 4 is 32, so that is the second set of numbers which we get. Now if we have to do the same thing logically, right? So that is to follow a method. Then how can we do it? That is what we are also going to look into. So for grade middle school students, grades class 6, 7, and 8, they could always do it like this and get their answers. The other students can actually work in a more systematic manner and get many solutions within no time. So what we are trying to say here is that sum of two numbers, let the two numbers be A and B, is equal to, we say sum of two numbers is four times their difference, is four times a minus B, correct? <clears throat> now, from the trial and error, we find that, you know, most of the differences are uh, multiples of 8 or some sub multiples of 8. Uh, the reason being that you could also see it like this, that if I take the sum A plus B in one column, right, and make another column with one-fourth of this sum, that is to say, if I write a plus b divided by 4, what I get is a minus b, right, their difference. Now, if I get a plus b and a minus b, then I can always calculate what a is, right, that is the whole idea. So, to give you an example, here is that if I take, let the sum be, for example, 24. Let a plus b be 24. So what we are saying here is let a plus b be 24. So we are saying 24 is a plus b is equals to 24. Now one fourth of 24, that is 24 divided by 4, is equal to what? 6 times 4 is 24, so that is 6. That gives us a minus b as equal to 6. Correct? Now if I add them both, then B and B cancel, we get 2A, right? Twice A is equal to 24 plus 6, which is 30. And that gives you the value of A as equal to 30 divided by 2 as 15. So we know A is 15. You get an idea? So so from here, 
we can now know that for the sum a of b, 2b24, we know a is 15. 15 plus what is 24? 15 plus 9, right, is 24. And you'll also see that 15 minus 9 equals to 6. Correct? And 4 times 6 is 24. So you get another set by logical approach. So you say, well, the numbers are 15 and 9. Correct? So we already have three answers here. So our answers could be, as we have seen here, the numbers are 5 and 3. Correct? This is one set. Then now we got 15 and 9. We also got numbers as 20 and 12. <clears throat> Correct? So do you see a trend here? If I multiply by 3, I get 15 and 9. If I multiply by 4, I get 20 and 12. So I do see a trend here. So you could explore this trend and get more solutions. So if I multiply by 5, I get 15 and 25. Will that work? Let's see. So we are going to test the number. If I multiply by 5, I get... 25 and 15. So if I add 25 and 15, what do I get? And if I do 25 minus 15, what do I get? Well, when you add them, 5 and 5 is 10, and then you get 40, correct? And when you take the difference, you get 10. And you know, 10 times 4 is equal to 40. So it works. That means the next set could be 4 times 5 and 3. I mean, 4 times 4, 5 times 5 and 3, which is 25 and 15. So what we find is that all multiples, let's say n is a number, all multiples of 5 and 3 will be our solution, right? Any multiple of 5 and 3 will be a solution for us. So that becomes a general solution for the given condition. Perfect. So that is how our senior students can do and derive a formula. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you really like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.